Hey guys, it's been on. Um, we're just kind of gonna wander around a bit, because... In fact, we're gonna fight Imakumi again. Because we need to get, like, some cards. And before I do that, I want to go Bulbasaur and Friends. I feel a bit more sturdy with the Bulbasaur and Friends deck. So anyway, yeah, we get, we're gonna fight Imakumi just because he's, um... He gives all the boosters, which is very nice. Okay, so yeah. Um, but I'm gonna save the cat peak. But um, yeah. I believe we've got one of the tradable cards for Ishihara, which is a ditto. We've got the ditto, which is good. Um, we need a Chansey though. I don't. I've never gotten Chansey yet, and I believe I'm not quite sure what cards I'll need for the other guy. But I believe. The, all the cards are in the uncommon category, so hopefully we may have gotten more, but in case. <laughs> and in any case, just use your Imakumi. Yes. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm weak to myself. No. Well, that was a very good match. Good game. <laughs> that was literally one turn long. Oh, my gosh. Hit one Chan, no. Nope. Oh, and I believe the Chansey is in the, um, Colosseum pack, so... I need to try and fight someone in the Colosseum pack. I believe we've never gotten boot ops, which is cool. I guess, so he's got a 30 damage attack, which is pretty good, and then 40. And then, yeah. Absorb, which is pretty awesome. As well as another Toros. Oh, jeez, another Cloth Fable, jeez. I guess so. I'll go with that. I guess we could fight him again? I don't know. So if we go to our card album, we can see we're missing seven cards. I believe you get four of them when you beat the game. And three of them, I believe these two, surround the Surf and Pikachu, are from Ishihara, and I believe this one is from that guy. But we'll need to disclose with the guy anyway. We're also missing a few cards from the other sets, but you know they're not they're not too important. I right? come on, set my cards. And then Ishihara. Ishihara is the only one we got us left. Well, I guess we're just gonna head to the dome because this is it, pretty much. I may as well just tell you how to get it. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, I may as well just go up to the computer box, and I may as well just tell you how to get these. This one is a flying picture, you know that one. This is, you get this by trading Ditto to Ishihara, I believe we already own a Ditto. This is the different print, the US print of Surfing Picture, was this, no, the Japanese print of Surfing Picture. It's exactly the same, but, you know, it's a different card technically. Um, you get it by trading the Chansey. I haven't gotten Chansey, and I believe this is a... This is a Zapdos. No. Hold on. Which one am I doing? Oh yeah. This one is a Pikachu. I believe this one acts like this one, I think? I believe they're exactly the same as this, this one these two. So yeah, you're not missing out on anything much. Flying picture besides, but yeah, that's pretty much all you're missing out on. Now I may as well go through the cards that I haven't gotten. Chansey is in this list. Chansey is should be down there. Um Yeah, I think I think we did a pretty good job trying to get most of these. It's like it's like in the um regular Pokemon game, like you never really go ahead and catch all the Pokemon. Right, let's on your first go. Oh, wait a minute, we already do have all the stuff. So anyway, yeah, here we go. And you won't be able to turn back. But you don't need to buy full restore. So anyway, this is the Pokemon Dome. This is Rod. And this is Courtney, the Fire Queen. The Thunder Steve. And Gentlemanly Jack. They are the four Grand Masters. So our first opponent will be Courtney. They're all six prize matches. And I'm going in with Grass Deck. Dang it, Steve. That went wild, didn't it? Okay. 
deck it up. Okay, we're pretty much just gonna work on one deck. Actually, no. Modify. Yeah, we're gonna do this on, like, one deck. So, firstly, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take everything out. We've got enough energy, so I'm happy there. Yeah, remember when the, um... The, uh, first Pokemon game came out? There was... It was, like, it was a pretty awesome game. Um... Come oh, on, do Polywagon, Polyworld, this is so pretty cool. Speaking of cool, um, nah, I won't go with those. Yeah, Seal and Juvenile. I haven't got enough Seals, to be honest. Um, Krabby and Kingla, they're definite yeses. Gyarados, maybe? And I'll go with Lapras. We will back it off. We'll add one Jugong, we'll lower that. And I believe we'll lower the crap of King Rock. And then I'll be able to add 21 energies, which is exactly as much as I own, so that's good. Okay. <laughs> Six minutes in, and I have already gone with an Emicurry fight. Anyway, we're gonna save, because pretty much I'm just gonna cut to the right attempts, because this is the difficult part of the game, the ending, of course. Thunder Steve, Gentlemanly Jack, we are the four masters if you can beat us. Your first opponent is Court Knee. Six prize match, let's do this. Hold on, I'm getting an incoming call from Chugga. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Is it just me or does the final boss music and that sound like a Mission Impossible theme remix? I don't know, it just it does to me for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, it does it sound like the Mission Impossible th theme. Uh, maybe they intended it that way, I really don't know. Yeah. But uh, anyway, in this world... Okay, I see ya. Well, that was a very good call, wasn't it? Um... <laughs> Anyway, um, we're gonna go on with, we might go on with, a uh, Lapras first. No, we'll go Poliwag. So anyway, yeah, the music does sound a bit like Mission Impossible a bit at first. I think it's just because of the syncopation. Although the thing you gotta know is that Mission Impossible is in 5-4. Now you're going like, what the heck? What the heck are we doing? This is the most annoying part of the battle. These guys constantly spam use of that promotional, of those four promotional cards that I do not own. Not, not, um, yeah. So, she's placed two of these things, so she literally gets to play, gets to add fire energy straight out of the deck, or whatever it is. Uh, anyway, yeah, specially designed for this game. No weakness, resistant to fighting as well. Look at that health. Look at that health. That health is 100. That is so high. Anyway, when you put Moltres into play, during your turn, you can put from 1 to 4 um, energy cards into your hand. And then you get to do a f like this, which is like so powerful, because half the time you'll deal 70 damage, which is like so powerful. So anyway, I will go and save for the water deck. But yeah, this music is awesome ass. Enough with the music, because you'll be able to hear it anyway. Oh my gosh, I gotta sit back, because I know I'm dead already. Although, seriously, look how many tails. Seriously. The irony with the name. 
It's impossible to get nine tails. Seriously, six tails, that's quite a lot. Okay, um, get a water. Yeah! That's good, because you know why? Go straight to war portal, and then I get to do a 40 damage attack, which will double. Because of the weakness. You can ensure that five types will be weak to water in this in the trading card game. Okay, so now we got this. Um Yeah, I'm pretty much stuffed. As long as she doesn't get a heads. If she doesn't get a heads, because I know she's got enough energies for it. Don't get a heads. Don't you get a heads. Don't get a heads. Don't you dare get a heads. <laughs> this is exactly what I mean. They have such powerful attacks. Um, here, I'll go Lapras. Oh, come on, stop spamming the water and the, the double colors. No, actually. Now it doesn't hit. Gee. Um, I'm thinking I should have taken out the um. Oh, and this is also no no weakness. So, oh, there's the other monsters. I believe I I own that monsters. Yeah, such a powerful attack. Jeez, and no weakness. It's just so strong. Can actually back it up. Right. Oh dang it. I am getting pretty safe with these. Although it would have been handy before, you know. What is with these water energies? Like I, I even put more in the sun. Okay, come on, confuse Ray. Yes. That way there'll be even less chance. She'll manage to get through. She'll manage to get through. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. I have no clue what I'm going to do with these double colors. Seriously. Oh, thank goodness. I got past that. Okay, we're up to nine tails. The nine tails is going to try and hit me with dancing efforts. Weird move, isn't it? It takes forever for the AI to use it all. Oh, come on! Serious? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I was gonna like... Okay, five heads. I'm really pushing it. I'm gonna just see if I can get heads of my own. Okay, what do I got? Potion. Potion, yes! Um, I'll go Krabby, because Krabby definitely has the advantage here, although it's a polywell. Actually, yeah, back it up. Yeah. Okay, come on, Confuse Ray. Oh, dang it. Okay, I'm just gonna hope that I don't get hit. Four or under hit. Oh. Where did we switch out? See, this one takes, um, four. Oh, it's still not weakness. Yeah, this one's pretty overpowered as well, but... It's, a uh, regular card. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Okay, come on, Confuse Ray. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just tense. These battles are so tense. Oh, thank goodness. So tense. Oh, oh dang it. And yeah, even with the type advantage, I'm still suffering. I really might have wanted to use Articuno, I don't know. Stuff it. I didn't use Articuno, and I'll make it out of here alive, maybe. Uh, so anyway, I've got Amnesia, which allows me to prevent her from, like... I can 
also to use wildfire for no reason. That actually might be good. That actually might be good because then I can. Oh, well, I've got double slap, so basically I can try and. Oh yeah, I'm doing this. Yeah, you can't use that. So uh, she's probably gonna use like wildfire or something, or she might switch out. Or she's just gonna ignore it. Okay. Either that, or I could go for a, for a deck drainer. I could I could do a deck drain right now. It's a, it's a, it's a word I use that basically means I'm gonna try and get her to like to not be able to <laughs> to attack at all. So she's confused, so, so she really doesn't want to switch out. And she doesn't want to use wildfire, because otherwise she's not going to get any energies. Seriously, she's got three, four Moltres, and I've already defeated the other one. Yeah, I've defeated one of the four Moltres. That's really mean, isn't it? Oh, I've got to defend them, I don't feel like it. Keep spamming, I want some stuff. I'm surprised I didn't get a poly uh, wrath in this game. Maybe it was one of those cards, but yeah. King Lo, there you go, that's what I wanted. There you go. Okay, double slap. Oh yeah, all the heads are, are in the sequence. I'm sorry, I'd, I'd do that anyway. I'll save you the trouble of having to reset the game. This is going to be a really weird way of winning, isn't it? <laughs> okay, what don't I want? I don't want that. So I'm going to try and prevent that from happening. Just stop everything I did. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, yeah. You were trying to get away. It was actually good because Gyarados. Um, I'll go for a double slap because now, yeah, because one of the tails went away. Yeah, all the all the coins are in an order. The uh, problem is now I've got this to deal with. Oh, what? What was a part of that? Oh, thank goodness. Um. Oh, I can like totally just block her from using it entirely. Yeah. Okay, I'll, go, I'll try again. Oh, yeah, I can't hold it. Um, the Dark Descent! <laughs> oh, Energy Retrieval! You need an Energy Retrieval! Now, the thing is that she can definitely switch out at any time. Yeah, this is this is a time when your deck is just completely, completely foolproof, or at least it should be completely foolproof. And I think that's I think that's what I've got here. I've I've definitely got Polywell in the bag. It's kind of weird. I'm I'm mad. I'm surprisingly using Polywell now for some reason, but I don't think it's in the way I to switch out like right now. Well, I don't know, because like I think one of the enticing factors is the health. I do believe. Yeah, and since she's got like, she's like, why switch it up? So I'm gonna try and prevent that Ark and I from using takedown, seriously. Seriously, I mean, like, I know, I know it deals, um, no damage to itself, but that is pretty mean now, nonetheless. Although, if I get, like, a gust of wind, because I definitely know I've got one in the deck somewhere. <sighs> so tense. Although I think I think I'm gonna like win by deck for once. Energy retrieval? Guess so. I'm not gonna want that because I'm gonna want two of them. I don't know. I just felt like it. Jeez. Oh, whoa! Again, throwing out another promotional layer. Ah, Arcanine is how much health? 100. 
I doubt I can do it. I doubt I can do it. I'll just go for a green, because I don't I don't feel like risking it. Although, you know, I could go for a super type, because she'll use take down. Yeah, very interesting. I'm just constantly using Amnesia, isn't it? We're down to the last 10 cards, so... She's gotta think of something to get out of this. I mean, she can definitely switch out at any time, I think. But she doesn't want to, that's what the AI- Oh! I spoke too soon. <laughs> wow, this person cannot do this. Wow. I mean, how do you, like, miss that many times? I don't think it's even possible to miss. <laughs> oh, well, it's definitely possible, I know. But, like, think about that. That was, like, 7 out of 8, and you got that one. Oh, you're gonna use takedown now. Yeah, you're gonna use takedown. You're gonna use takedown, yeah. So she gets the hit there, but then I'm gonna switch over to War Turtle here. Gonna use Bike. Take out the Arc Knight. And now we're back to this Moltres who is gonna try and use Dive Bomb. Actually, no. No energies there. Throwing out the promotional, actually no, super potion isn't promotional, is it? No, there's only two promotional uh, trainer cards in this game. Imakuni and uh, super super energy retrieval. Super potion is just I think rare. Oh. I want to see if we can do a deck win actually. Oh gosh. Sorry, I just see Switch and I'm just panicking. I mean, this beat, man. This beat. That's where it's at. Oh. oh, you took away the double color list, you jerk. Um, I'm just gonna use the draw. Yeah, I'm going for the deck. I am going for a deck win. That's right. I'm going for it. Oh. Goes for a switch. This plus power won't actually win, won't it? Be I'm going to use the plus power and the defender. And then I'm going to withdraw. I'm going to fail withdrawing as well. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I mean, I know I could have won earlier, but I just wanted to draw that out just because I wanted to knock, knock out that um, thing. Okay. So thankfully, you get to do this. So I'll see you kids next time. And we'll devise another deck.